Well, hello everybody and welcome to the month of November. Welcome to another uh, Friday chat here. I'm sorry I'm a little late, but you know what happened? Uh, I overslept. <laughs> you know, I snoozed uh, for a couple of minutes there and before I knew it, uh, it was six. P it was like 10 minutes ago, uh, 5.55. So everybody welcome. I don't even have access to the chat yet. Let me open that <laughs> right now. And I hope you're all having a great uh, Friday. Um, can you hear me now? Can you see me? Here we are and... Uh, uh, what's happening? Pop out chat. I'm going to put the chat on the screen because that's the way that I, that I like to, to look at it. You know, right here, uh, right next to my screen. Oh, we have a lot of people here today. And Jackie Trujillo, um, uh, and this traveler, Mariam Silis, Susprang, hello there, and uh, Douglas, Miguel Garete, Marsan Worldwide, Juan Catalina, right, let me, let me put the chat here on the, on the side of the screen, because it's going to be easier for me, I don't know why he doesn't do it automatically, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of a temperamental, uh, um, program, this, uh, program that I have here, the, What's it called? Uh, uh, OBS, which is what I use uh, to stream the videos. I, mean, I, don't, I don't even I don't even have the camera like correctly pointing at me. Well, it's fine, I guess. A little bit too much headroom, but that's that's cool. That way you can see me. Okay, let me let me start reading here. Um, Gator Dwight, uh, Chief Pelican Head. Hello, Robert. Happy Friday. Got my tea and love having some nostalgia from old Kia. Oh, you got the the the, the old T-shirt. Um, I'm I, I, I was thinking of doing it for today, but I'm probably gonna um, do it on Monday. I'm gonna start selling a new the new T-shirt with with the new um, the new logo. As um, some of you probably saw, I changed. Uh, I started changing the the picture, the branding everywhere. And what we did on Wednesday was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Oh, Thursday. You know, when I got the, the tonal cover for the, for the, by the way, thank you Culture Lifestyle Travel for, for hooking me up with that. And um, we went to this place in Hialeah and, um, and you are heading over to Los Dias de los Muertos Parade in Las Olas. That's in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to do that. Anyways, that, that, to make a... Um, to finish the story, we went to Key Biscayne, or Virginia Key, which is the key right before Key Biscayne, and they have this abandoned uh, uh, marine uh, theater. Theater is it the, the marine theater, marine auditorium? My, um, it's an amphitheater there. It's it's abandoned, and the, the parking lot is great because you have the water right behind you, and that's where I took uh, the picture, and I was able to cut out. Uh, from that picture, just the truck and the trailer in Photoshop, and I'm gonna do make make the T-shirts. With that, this is the same T-shirt I'm just going to substitute. By the way, also thank you, Culture Lifestyle Tarot, for my Chevrolet CLT, for my Chevrolet uh, T-shirt here, um, uh, which he also uh, gave me uh, when we get, went to, to see the, when we get, went to get the tonal cover. You know what? I'm, I'm still not fully awake. I should have gotten the Cuban coffee. Let's, let's open this up, which is, um, it's called Terrapin. High Five IPA, you just got it at Publix, it's from, from Georgia, from Athens, Georgia. It's a California-style India Pale Ale, and since I'm going to be in Georgia next week, I thought it, it would be appropriate. Marine Stadium, there you go. Man, it's... <laughs> you know what happened... Um, yeah. Thank you, Gator Dwight, for that super chat. Thank you so much, man. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Uh, I figured out this super chat thing. Looking forward to hearing the name for your truck. For now, we're going to call it the Colorado. I have uh, Nothing really has stuck, you know. So, uh, mm, this is pretty good. So, and, and I don't want to rush into a name of this thing. Oh, man. Ooh, I almost spilled the beer. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to rush into naming the truck. For now, it's just, I'm just going to call it the Colorado. And um, for all we know, um, tomorrow I'll come up with Pepito, and Pepito will be his, his, the name of the truck. So for now, it's it's, it's just. Uh, and uh, what do we have him? Um, 
Yeah, the, um, Sesame's son. Hi, Robert and Ely. Yeah, Ely is in the other room uh, watching and listening to us. So everybody say hello to Ely. Johnny C, are you going to Arizona in January? God permitting, yes. Uh, that's the, the plan. And uh, the RTR begins on January 9th. I don't know if, if, anybody, if any of you guys have been to the RTR. Is it worth it to stay there the, the two weeks that it lasts? Or should I just go for the second week, you know, when, when they have the, the RV show, when it coincides with the, with the RV show? Uh, you guys you guys, let me know or either comment here in the chat or let me know in, in the comments after the fact. Or send me an email, robert at travelingrobert.com. And uh, Joe Croto, hi Robert, how's the truck? The truck runs great, man. And uh, now it's fully accessorized. I got, I got for for now. I didn't get the the bed liner or anything. I just got a bed mat, which is a rubber, so nothing, uh, uh, you know, slips in there. And um, and uh, I we got a, a tonneau cover, a trifold by X Tang. And um, what else did we get for it? Oh, I, got, I finally got the the running boards, the 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 the, the assist steps. Uh, there, so yeah, say cheers with a nice cup of tea, QPR forever. So, spring, Randy, good evening, and cheers from Maine. Hello there, Maine. Is it getting chilly in Maine by now? Um, Juan Catalina, Haili, culture, culture, lifestyle, travel. Um, I have, I have trouble <laughs> pronouncing that really fast. Uh, from Tampa, D D Don Foster, please say hi to my husband, Kenny. He's a big fan, uh, always watching. Hello, Kenny. Thank you for watching. And uh, what happened to old Kia? Well, they, they could never f figure out figure out what was wrong with old Kia and, uh, and that new engine that they put on it. I don't think it was compatible. Johnny C., how do we hook up with you? Uh, well, I'll be there. I, I, I plan to do a, a meetup, like an official meetup, of course. I'll probably do use the same place that that less junk more journey used that park in, in Quartzsite. But I'm gonna be wherever they decide to do the the RTR the scan and watch wash probably. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm 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 leaving probably January first or January second. It it depends how good the New Year's Eve party that I'm playing at it turns out to be. <laughs> Uh, hey, Robert, viewing from Newfoundland, Canada. So a new Colorado tow 7,000 piles. So a new trailer in the future. No, I'm keeping Mini Tini uh, for quite a while. So um, I, I'm, I, 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 who, you never know. But for now, I mean, for, for, for the foreseeable future, at least uh, one or two years, uh, Mini Tini is going to be the, the trailer. You know, I, I want to have some 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 power to spare, anyways. From Concord, Canada, always Gallardo, Gallardo, RV Strong, Johnny C. Show. Okay, how do we go? What are we drinking? We're wandering travels. We're drinking a a ter terrapin high fi IPA from Athens, Georgia, which I intend to visit. Probably, I'm gonna visit Athens, Georgia, within the next two or three weeks. That's what I have. It's a bed mat. Yes, I think I think I got that idea from from you, Joe, and Flat Earth Vegans. We are full timing now. Oh, in our thirty eight Keystone Montana fifth wheel in Lake Worth, Florida. Well, congratulations. That not that's not very far from here. You're just south of Palm Beach. I just passed by there uh, on my on my um, truck breaking in uh, trip. Just say CLT, yeah. Uh, Tracker of that, but are you? Is your partner still with you? Yeah. Afternoon naps are good, Robert. Yeah, that's what I heard. So, that, you know, I, snoo I snoozed. Uh, Colin Blake, uh, hello from Annapolis, Maryland. Hello there, Colin. Uh, great to have you here. Uh, did your Kia work ever again? It, I mean, it ran, but uh, really, really bad. Uh, Filippo Nardelli from Florence, Italy, Firenze, benvenuti, Filippi, Filippo Nardelli, and uh, and welcome to the chat. I don't think I've seen you here for a while, and um, one of these days I'm going to make it to, to Florence uh, for sure. Um, 
Are you liking the new truck? I like the new truck. The new truck is... I still have to get used to, you know, it's, it's the, the truck feel. It doesn't quite... Let me change something real quick here in the camera. Because, you know, I don't like having so much headroom. Yeah, that's better. That's more like TV-like. <laughs> Um, Jess Shulman, you mentioned Less Junk, More Journey on one of your, it's one of your favorite RV channels. What other fellow RV channels do you follow? Um, well, I, 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 I think it's safe to assume we all, we all watch The Nomadic, uh, Fanatic. And, um, of course, you know, I'm subscribed and uh, I, I am I'm watching him. Uh, other than that, Keep Your Daydream uh, is another one that I've been watching for a while. Uh, Paul and Lorena, The Motorhome Experiment. And and they're they're as nice people on screen as they are in person. I've I've met them in person twice, and they're great people. I mean, I follow a bunch. Of, if you see my subscriptions, I follow pretty much uh, whenever I discover somebody which is vaguely in the in this uh, type of uh, not everybody, but in this type of uh, niche, I follow them. So I have like over two hundred subscriptions at this point. But I don't, I don't watch everybody. Hello from Southern California. Enjoy your videos. Thank you so much, Mark Armstrong, for that super chat. Really appreciate it. And, um, and uh, thank you so much. And who else do I watch? I watch a bunch of people. And sometimes, uh, on and off, Camper, Camper Van Kevin, you know, on and off. I don't watch every single video of his. But, you know, he's he's funny guy. He seems to be a genuinely good person, you know. Um... Oh, long, long honeymoon. I, 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 lo, the thing with Lolo, Loloho, and the, the, he, they seem like great guys. I've chatted. I, I mean, we've, we've we've chatted a couple of times, but I don't watch him all the time because it, it, it is more like a how-to channel, you know. So, um, but whenever I need to know something about a generator, it's the same with this other guy, RV with Tito or the RV gigs, and um, and I used to and the wings. I mean, I used to watch the wings when they were RVers. Now they are. Uh, in a boat, and I still watch him, although it's not as interesting to me as uh, when it, it was RVing. Obviously, I, I'm, uh, I'm in a minor minority because now they have like 300,000 subs, so there you go. Let me let me watch this, uh, I mean, watch. I'm still not fully awake. Maybe, maybe I need a little more of this. Ah, let me read some of the chat here. Hello from Maureen Mulhern, Massachusetts. Next trip, you should go to Montana. Well, yeah, Montana is definitely one of those states that are, that, um, that are in the to-do list. And it depends how, how long this uh, next uh, trip uh, coming up uh, is going to be. I might make it to Montana. Um, Uh, actually, now that I see Long, Long Loloho a couple of times in the chat, actually, be, be, before I knew them on YouTube, I read their book uh, probably 10 years ago. I mean, when I was like in the dreaming stage and they're like, oh, maybe this RV thing is for us. That, that was one of the first books I ever read. You know, I read many. Of course, I, I read John Huggins, So You Want to Be an RVer. I read... Um, uh, yes, I uh, uh, flat Earth Vegans. I do watch PP Peterson as well, and uh, she kind of kind of switched uh, her channel a little bit. It used to be a more how-to videos when she had the class A, and now she's doing more traveling. So, and, I, and I'm more into the the, the traveling uh, videos because I get ideas of where to go, and uh, that's always good. Living free with Mike, yeah, I watch him on and off. No, not every single video, but I watch him on and off too. It's, it's, I mean, I, I interviewed him uh, for the podcast uh, less than a year ago, and uh, and yeah, he's he seems to be a cool guy too. Mm -hmm. What RPA for today? Once again, it is a Terrapin High Five from Athens, Georgia, California style IPA, or so they say. How many people do we have watching right now? 251! That's awesome. And I see uh, YouTube is doing automatic captions for these videos. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Molly Cacola, LOL. Hi, Robert. First time listener to your live feed. Well, welcome. 
and I hope I hope you, you come back. We, we do this every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, <coughs> although it's going to change now for international. You know, we're changing the, the time. Is it this weekend or next weekend? Next weekend. This weekend, right? This Sunday. So um, fall back. So it's going to be an hour earlier for those of you like in the UK or or elsewhere in the in Europe, elsewhere in the world. Um, uh, Joseph Montoya, hello from Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix. I'm gonna. I'm going back to Phoenix probably now in in mid January um, as part of the trip to the West. I agree with you. I stopped watching the wins too because they stopped RVing. I haven't stopped watching them, but sometimes it is like. Um, I, I, I like to see like like all these different uh, exotic places they are visiting. But those uh, those episodes I'd see where, you know, raise the spinnaker. I mean, I've learned about <laughs> sailing even without trying. And uh, uh, let's raise the Genoa. Oh, this thing broke. <laughs> and all those things. Hype from Bolivia. Hello, Bolivia. And one of these days I'm going to make it to Bolivia. And, um, and the, uh, Lake Titicaca. Hi, Robert. Do you think you'll ever go full-time RV? Um, at some point, maybe. I, I'm not sure. I think uh, I, I might always keep a base, you know, like maybe maybe not this house in Miami, but a piece of land somewhere where I can, you know, take the RV and hook it up and and, and, and be there. Uh, but um, because I never, I, never, I never want to have something too big. And that's... And and uh, you know as much as, as much as you can minim, mi, minimize, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We might we might uh, do the full time or or the mostly full full time thing. We'll see. Uh, looking at buying Winnie in MS tomorrow, would you still recommend? Yes, yes. The the uh, out of, they've gone up in price, but out of all the RVs out there. Mm, uh, out of all the RVs out there, the, the, the travel trailers of the of that class, it's 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 probably one of the better the better ones. You've been slowing down on the podcast. Are you getting burned out? It's not getting burned out, but I've been busy with other things, and sometimes, you know, it takes time also, like to to come up with something to say in the podcast, you know, and uh, and uh, I've I've had my mind in other things. Uh, I, I'm gonna keep doing the podcast. I might do it w once every other week if 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 I'm really busy doing something else. Like for example, last last week, the whole week I spent uh, editing that Boston video, that 50 minute Boston video. So I didn't have time to to do much much other than that. So um, you know how it is, uh, Robert. How long um, how long before your channel really took off? Around how many videos did you have out before you started getting tons of subs? It's been a, a curve. It, it's it it really depends. When I when I many in 2013 when I um, released that Canada the the the, the, Can the Canadian road trip series before RV, it it went up quite substantially, and and then the driving to the west video, that's when I hit 10,000 subs right around when when that video came out and then it's been that, that that's that's it's it's been going up since then and it depends what i do you know um like like the, the series of last year driving to the west you know when i went to the the, the quartzite arizona and uh, uh, and the, all the way to california that that series gave me a lot of subscribers that was really really uh, successful uh, kentucky I mean, I almost lost subscribers when I did the Kentucky series, so I might not... I'm going to go to Kentucky again. Of course, I love that state. But I might do something different, like the, the Bourbon Trail or something like that. You know, not so much like family time with, uh, with the Gonzaleses. Um, Robert, I, you are my number one RV channel. You give good tours. Thank you so much. And, I, and I'm overdue for a tour of Minitini after four years. Uh, Shushan Gridensham, uh, hi dad, what is the thing you use to stir your milk when preparing your coffee? Are you frothing milk with a thing? Or is it, it's just a spoon, a regular spoon. Jacob, 175RD, down and dirty, but space to roam. Cool. Love the Boston video. Thank you so much, Juan. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's one of my favorites as well, one of my favorite cities. 
as well. Is your Colorado four-wheel drive? No, uh, Creek? No, it's not. Uh, I I decided, you know, it, it, it probably for for what I'm gonna use it is it wasn't worth the extra five thousand dollars, so I got the the two by four. Where are we staying? Driving to the West song has been stuck in my head all week. I'm, I'm sorry about that, man. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, that that I really like that song too. When it came up, when it came in uh, to to me, you know, some some of those. And um, what's your trips to Boston all morning? Oh, thank you so much. It took it probably took you all morning. That's a long video. I, th I think that's the longest single video that I've done. You know, not that that is not a compilation of several videos. Uh, information, different places to visit. I will really enjoy your videos. Thank you so much, Ruth Brown, Kenneth. Katumba. Hi from Mississauga, Ontario, <coughs> and that's just in west of, of uh, Toronto, if I recall correctly. Will you do a drive to Newfoundland, a town called Fortune, and then drive to a French territory? Territory? Territory. Oh, what's wrong with me today? There's a ferry, so basically driving from Canada to France. Um, uh, well, I, I will do the drive to Newfoundland probably next year. In fact, had old Kia not broken down uh, on this last uh, trip, the idea was, uh, I don't know if Newfoundland and Labrador, but at, at least New Brunswick, for sure, I was going to visit. And depending on the weather and the time, I, I, I would have gone as, as north as possible. How many, uh, Long Island, 2008, how many hours did it take for you to go to uh, California? Well, that was a five-day five day drive to uh, Quartzsite. Papa Drew, thank you, Robert, for answering my question. You're very welcome. Diogenes, Diogenes Paula, you should look into Cape Cod. Yes, I was I was going to do Cape Cod as well, but uh, we, we ran out of time, really. I had to return Big White back to Miami. So that, that which, by the way, you're going to see that video this Sunday. Uh, it's just the trip. And I'm going to be listening to your Driving to the West song all day on my road trip through the U.S. in January. Love it. Thank you so much. Scott Horn, hello from Greenwood, South Carolina. You mentioned going to Athens, Georgia. We are about an hour and 20 minutes east of there. One of these days we will have to meet up. Uh, try to visit varsity in, the varsity in Athens. I, will, I have no idea what to look for in Athens, to be honest. I haven't done much research. But I will. If you come back to Kentucky, you are welcome to park in my driveway and hook up water and electric. Thank you so much, Mark Drennan. And Sonia Fuentes. Hello from Homestead, Florida. Hello there. I think you're having some kind of uh, air show this weekend down there. Good professional work, Robert. Uh, Paul DRV. Thank you so much, Paul John. And Rick S. Hi, Robert. We really enjoy the way you mix up. And thank you for the New England States. Hope you come back sometime in the future. Rick Sosa, Massachusetts. So, yes, definitely. Uh, around this time of the year, well, a little earlier, that uh, next year, that's, I, I plan to redo this trip as I, as I originally intended. Uh, although I'm, I'm not going to repeat the, the Freedom Trail in Boston. I'm not going to repeat what I already did. But uh, I'll like do Boston of the Beaten Path. I'll do another area of New York. Um, I might do another area of Philly, who knows, and then Maine as as you're supposed to see Maine, you know, not in a day and a half. Mm, this is good beer. John Hancock, thank you so much for that super chat. And you say, thanks from Australia for your inspiration, Robert. We are taking a sabbatical in two weeks to study the the Florida Keys, and hope to see you on the road. An absolute pleasure watching your work. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate it, and, and enjoy the, the Florida Keys. Uh, actually, I'm probably going there tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, from Atlanta. What generator are you now using? I'm using the Westinghouse i2500, and, um, and the only reason I can use it is because I have that, that uh, for the air conditioner, is the soft start that that uh, that uh, micro air provided for me, and um, by the way, if you want to get it, go to microair.com uh, and uh, put the the promo code uh, the, the checkout my RV M M Y R V and you get a, a discount uh, and I get a, a commission, so win win situation. 
if you, if you do decide to get it. And I also still have my Champion 3200, by the way. I still have it there as a backup because you never know. Yes, the planes are roaring. Yeah, I wish I could go, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to go to the... This is my last weekend here in South Florida and until before we go to, to Georgia. So I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. I mean, it's, gonna, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, but still, I, I, I wanna take a drone shot of, of, of the new truck with Minitini in tow crossing one of those bridges in the Florida Keys for the new intro. And uh, <clears throat> Papa Drew, have you ever watched the Dupre's Russ and Russ and Heather? They are super nice people and have been helping me with my channel. Very nice people. Go check them. I used to watch them. Uh, I haven't watched them in a while. I used to watch them, but probably about a year ago, I, I watched some of the, some of their videos. But you know, there, there's so many people that sometimes it, it's it's hard. A lot of people have fallen off the map. A lot of people used to have channels that I thought you know were promising, and uh, and um, they're not doing it anymore. Uh, Jesse Shulman, what percent of the time do you use KOA versus you use private campgrounds versus Boondock? I feel like I see a lot of KOA places in your videos. Do you like them on average? KOAs are generally expensive, but they're so easy to book. I have the app, and the app remembers who I am, remembers my RV, my length, and my preferences, and plus I get a discount for being a member. The discount is basically the tax, you know, but uh, and they're usually well-maintained, you know, it's, it's more resort type of, of places, but in a pinch, it's, it's easy, they're easy to book, basically. But I also love state parks. Is is my probably my uh, my other choice. My first choice is probably state parks, just because of the price. Uh, and uh, and then you know private campgrounds. Um, sometimes it, it's it, 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 and many times this is the case that you have to call to make a reservation because they they they, they don't have those systems in place like 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 hotels do. You know, uh, art quirk. If you go north. Uh, you gotta go to Newfoundland, most beautiful province, especially for RVs, spectacular views of the coastline and the most easterly point in Canada. Keep up the great work. And talking about uh, talking about uh, other RVers, I used to follow this couple. Uh, their channel was called "A Guy, a Girl, and a Camper Van," and uh, they're they're not nomadic anymore. They actually bought a property and they created a homestead. But they did a great trip all across Canada, and uh, and they visited all the Maritimes, and uh, and they, they 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 I used to like them. They used to live both of them in a, in a small class B, and uh, an older one at that. And Juan Carolina, you're going to Savannah, Georgia. I've never been there, and I would love to see your in-depth video of the town. I've been there twice, and I have two videos, none of them too in-depth, and they're kind of old. You know, I've improved a little bit. Uh, my 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 storytelling techniques uh, over the years, uh, and on this trip uh, now on the, on, to Georgia, I'm going to go to Savannah, but I might not. Uh, I, I'm probably not going to visit the downtown area. If any, if anything, I'll just go in uh, passing by. I, I want to see TB or Tybee TB Island. I forgot how, how it is pronounced, and um, and you know a little more of the beaten path stuff. My nine-year-old son, Tyler, oh, uh, wants to know how long it took you to drive to California. Well, it, it took a long time. Uh, uh, it, it took five days to, to, to drive from Tampa, Florida to Quartzsite, Arizona. And from there, it was another day drive. Well, but, but I, I took a detour through Yuma, and, uh, and, but it was another whole day to, to my campground at Lake uh, Guajilla in, uh, what was the name of that valley? The, 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 they had the, the music festival, the Coachella Valley. And from, from there, it, it was another two or three hours to the, to the coast, uh, near San, to, to Oceanside. So in hours, I don't know how many hours it was, but it, it's a long uh, trip, especially going through Texas. Oh, boy. Uh, traveling road. Where is the new truck walkthrough video? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking of doing it right at the end of the uh, four-year review of Minitini the trailer, and I'm going to film that either tomorrow or next week on Tuesday or Wednesday, and uh, and I'll publish that soon after because th that's an easy video to edit. It's just me talking on camera, 
and walking around the, the RV and then the truck. And I'm going to show you all, all, all the truck is it's it's really cool. It's very, it's really advanced technologically. Rick S, thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you, thank you so much. That's definitely going to, going to be helpful uh, in these upcoming uh, trips uh, that I have, and I have I, I have so much so many things planned. So we'll see. Uh, Wayne Grun, hello Robert from Wayne and Liz in Palm Bay. Any word on a Space Coast meetup sometime? Thank you for mentioning that because I'm going to talk about that right uh, right next to it, right after. And uh, and um, Mark Drennan, who is the girl that had a class C and used to used to survive on the road by belly dancing and then sold that and got a fifth wheel. Do we know her name? I have no idea. So happy you visited Water Fire in Providence. Yes, that was great. And when you come out west, we'd love to meet up definitely. And uh, and I'll and I'll keep you all posted. Just join the the Facebook group, Traveling Robert and Friends, uh, because that that's that's where I do a lot of the most uh, recent updates and Instagram, of course. I'll, I'll I'll probably start doing live updates on Instagram, and here on the on the live the, the best way if, if I have internet out there, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue doing these live videos on Friday, and of course. I'll tell you um, where I'm going to be talking about a uh, Space Coast uh, meetup. Let's talk about that. And I want to talk uh, to, to Bob and Sue and, uh, and Paul Falls. I think, uh, I think that on Tuesday is going to be the best day. I don't know if you guys are here in the, in the, um, in the chat, Bob and Sue. Uh, on Tuesday... Today is the second, so that will be Tuesday, uh, Tuesday the thirteenth, November thirteenth. I would love to to do the meetup in 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 Daytona Beach Brewing, if that is uh, at all possible. Is if if you guys can set that up. If if you're not here in the in the live chat right now, I'll 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 I'll, I'll send you a message through uh, through Facebook. So uh, and 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 we if we can get that arranged, I, I'll I'll uh, I'll make the announcement uh, about the the meetup, and I think it will be good. You know, late afternoon uh, at the at the Daytona Beach Brewing Company. This traveler, we're looking to go to Vegas next March, early and drive Zion for several days. That sounds like a great trip, and uh, <clears throat> I'm really tempted to go to Vegas uh, now. Uh, this uh, November 13th, trying this again, huh? Yeah, we're gonna try this again. I don't, I don't think uh, the Colorado is gonna break uh, anytime soon, so mm, yeah. Uh, thanks, Motorhome. Uh, Pippi Peterson, she's the one that used to do belly dancing. Okay. Uh, Robert got me hooked on video, YouTubing, RVing, small trailer. So, my worth it for sure. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Car Carlo Car Tipeg. Johnny C, where does your wife work and what does she do? She works at a, at a hospital. Uh, but mo mo most of the time she works from home. Uh, she, has, she just has to go there once a week. Say dope and I will donate 100 yen. Dope. <laughs> Uh, how many miles on the truck? Right now, about 600 and something. I had four miles when I got it, but I've made it a point to drive it a lot so I can break it in and be able to tow. Uh, Servus from Bavaria. From Bavaria. Cheers. Papa Drew, tomorrow we are replacing our RV refrigerator. This is not going to be fun. I think it's $1,600. Oh, brother. Yeah, they're expensive, those uh, those refrigerators. And unfortunately, they're not all that good. But um, Oliver, cheers. Um, this traveler uh, at Call Me not sure if that's what this channel is about. Ah, <laughs> I see. Maybe Robert can pick me up and I can fly back home. Hmm, maybe. 
Are you alcoholic, Robert? I am worried. Oh, God. No, I'm not. I do like my beer, but... Uh, I don't think I'm there yet. <laughs> yet being the keyword. Oh, you're just kidding. Okay. Motorhome Nation. I just got here. Is it a Chevy Colorado, the new truck? Yes, a Chevy Colorado uh, LT 2x4. Has the V6 uh, 3.6 liter engine direct injection. And uh, and what else? It's, it's very nice. It's, it's, it tows 7,000 pounds or so. Uh, Ashley O'Neill, Robert, send me a new intro photo so I can make you a new pillow. Oh, definitely. Uh, oh, like that one back there. Where is it? Well, I can't see myself. Like, oh, there. Like that one back there. I, I, I will. I'm, I just have to, like, make the, the, the logo again. Although that, that's a classic now. That's a, <clears throat> that's a collector's item. And uh, I'm making new stickers as well. And I still have like 30 of the old stickers, so I might make like a like a special thing. Like if, if you buy, I'm going to make like buy both for $10 or maybe I should give you a discount, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll add another button to my PayPal thingy. <clears throat> that was wrong with my throat. I'm not used to talking so much. Uh, hello from Wyoming. I can't wait to go to Wyoming. Who's who's in Wyoming? Someone was in Wyoming. Uh, one of the the other YouTubers. Is it, is it Camper Run Kevin? And you know what? I've been watching this guy who who, who lives in a in a in a Honda Element. Element Van Life is his channel. Uh, Nicholas. Okay, Johnny C. Let me ask you: When you boom dog, how do you do you unhook from your car? Normally not. I did when I went when I was in Quartzsite because you know you have to move around town, and uh, it was a little unnerving leaving your RV there in the middle of the desert. But uh, I guess it, it's it's the big city mentality that that people are going to steal your stuff if you leave it laying around, and and uh, for the most part it, it doesn't happen. It might happen, but what can you do, right? But yeah, the, the only place where, where I've boom docked and unhooked, it's Quartzsite. And when I went to Sedona, that I that I parked in the in the Coconino National Forest, and I left a mini tini there in the forest when I visited Sedona. Nicholas, Udaita Aliza. I'm going from New York to LA through the north and back to Florida through the south. My road trip this January. I'm planning to pass through Arizona. What days are you going to be there? Hope we can meet. I'm going to be there in mid-January. Uh, I'm going to be there for like a week or so. So I don't have an exact date yet. The, I know the RTR begins on the um, on January 9th, I think. And my mouse just froze. My computer just froze. My calendar just froze. What happened here? Oh, brother. Oh, it's just my mouse. Uh, the RTR is from January 9th through the 20th. I don't think I'm going to be there for the whole I RTR. But probably from the 13th through the 16th, I'll, uh, I'll be there. And, and then he is flying there. And we're going we're gonna to do part of the trip together. And then unfortunately she has to fly uh, back. But anyways, where were we? Where's my chat? I lost my chat. You know, this computer. Technology, man. Okay, have you been to Charleston, South Carolina? Yes, I have. Very, very pretty uh, city. Very nice. I, I, there, there's a video in my channel. I pretty much walked all day in, in Charleston. I, I started in the morning at Fort Sumter, and then I, I just walked around town the rest of the day. Lucky Dog, Tuesday sounds good at Daytona Bre Brewery. Opens at 4. That's great, Bob. Uh, we're we're gonna um, we're gonna do it. Let's do it. If if you if you can uh, a arrange that with the with the brewery, and uh, we'll do it at four or, or five p.m. You know, I, I don't know what's the best time for everybody. So, if if you guys are in the anywhere nearby uh, Daytona, we're gonna do this. When will you come to Pittsburgh? That's going to be next uh, fall. 
most likely. I was going to go to Pittsburgh as, as part of this trip that, as I mentioned in the video that you're going to watch Sunday, the, the original trip was going to be like two and a half months, and it turned out to be two and a half weeks. That's, imagine all the content I would have if I had done it. Um, how many miles did you drive in order to tow with it? You mean to break in the truck? 500 is the what they recommend that you drive before you tow anything at all. We are going to Wyoming in May. I might go to Wyoming in May as well. We'll see. They say it runs your power down on your car. Did I miss the previous one? Mm. Never a problem in Quartzsite. Yeah, I don't think so. Everybody leaves their RVs there and, and nothing ever happens. It's uh, um, Is there a certain day in Quartzsite? All YouTubers will be there to meet you all at once. Probably during the RTR, as I said, from January 9th to the 20th. I, I don't know exactly yet. I have to find out. I'm not going to be there for two weeks for the whole RTR because um, I, I don't want to stay put in a single place for that long. I, besides, uh, I'm going to be boondocking and, uh, and, uh, and and you have to, you know, dump your tanks and all that. Carol, I the Dodge Journey when I get my hitch installed after I paid off. I might get a new Chevy Equinox with the tone package. Chevy Equinox, those are nice. Hello, Robert from Andrew and Jackie. Hello there. Uh, Juan Carolina, what's the RTR? Is the Robert Trump rendezvous? It's a great uh, uh, and very, very what's the RTR as well, you guys are asking. It's one of those gatherings of, of, of RVers, and it's organized by this guy uh, called uh, Bob, uh, Bob Wells. And he has a very popular channel. It's called Cheap RV Living. So if you want to find out everything there is about the RTR, Check out his channel. He has ooh, like over 100,000 subs. And uh, he's been doing it for like 10 years. And it started, I think, just van dwellers. But, you know, it, it, it's grown to thousands and thousands of people. And, and it, it usually happens in Quartzsite. Um, right before the, the, the Quartzsite uh, show. Uh, Cristina Cabrera. Saludos, Robert. Tunitas. Michael Young, how are the new CDs coming along? Oh, man, that's another story. <laughs> uh, they're taking a long time because I, I was a cheapskate and I, and I chose the cheapest option. So they're going to arrive as I am. They're set to arrive uh, and my mouse just died. I don't know what happened. Um, the CDs, that's today the second. They're, they're set to arrive on, uh, on Monday, uh, November 12th. The problem is Monday, November 12th, I'm going to be leaving Miami. So um, I, I told them to ship them to my brother-in-law's uh, house in Atlanta. So as soon as I get to Atlanta, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to get them shipped from Atlanta. Uh, you know. Uh, so it's uh, in the mid-month, probably around the November 16th or 17th, I'll be able to ship those to you guys. And I'm sorry for the delay. I already have like, I have like 30 uh, pre-orders, uh, believe it or not. So, um, yeah. Uh, let me see. Nomadic Drifter, Paducah, nice town. We were there to, to when the eclipse, when the solar eclipse last year. What video camera do you use? Well, my main camera, do I have it here? Yes. As a matter of fact, because I was I was shooting some video today. I did I did a review for a new tire pressure monitoring system. Which, by the way, I'm, I think I'm gonna give away my older tire pressure monitoring system. And uh, this is the, the the main camera that I use. This is a Sony FDR-AX. 53 as you can see I don't know if you can tell here on the screen, but the, it has a great stabilization the lens kind of moves up and down when I move the camera and That's the best part about this camera and it's, it's 4k and it has great zoom zoom lens And I know most uh, Youtubers and bloggers these days use you know like a Canon uh, or, or the Sony uh, mirrorless uh, cameras 
But I like the feel of the camcorder. I'm old fashioned like that. It's one handed. With one hand, I can access 99% of the controls that I need. And that's a great thing. SUBTT67. Hello there, Tero from the great land of Finland. Thank you so much uh, for that super chat of uh, 1099 euro, which is like $100. Not, not really, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, thank you so much. Juan Catalina, are you going to do a big trip for uh, 100,000 subscribers? Well, if all the predictions are correct, um, yeah, if all the predictions are correct, I am going to hit that mark 100,000 in July of next year. And uh, I, in July of next year, I intend to go uh, to be in California for a VidCon, which is like the biggest conference uh, for YouTubers. And uh, there, that's that's what I that, that, that's what that's the trip that I'm going to do. is is, is held in Anaheim, California, that the the VidCon uh, conference. And, you know, it's good, you know, to to, to network, and meet other YouTubers, and uh, learn basically. What's the best place to eat in Miami? <clears throat> there are so many places. It's, it's 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 almost a matter of of opinion, and to, and. We don't really go out to eat all that much in Miami. We love Casa Juancho just because it's been there forever. It's like a staple. But there are many newer places that, you know, especially in the Brickell area and uh, in the um, Midtown and, uh, you know, many places. Um, is it worth, uh, Carol Tipeg, is it worth towing from California, RVs? Need RSVP or just show up? Mad Max or Trailer Social? Could it be our first long haul. Sounds fun. I don't understand the question. RSVP or just show up? You mean for the for the RTR? It's BLM land. You know, you just show up and park it whenever, wherever. Robert, your mouse, change the battery, it should fix it. No, it's, it's, it's wired. It's, I, I need to replace it. This mouse is not working properly. It hasn't worked properly for a long time. Uh, Mike Fuller, saw one of your vids in 4K. Yeah, lately, since uh, for the past two years, I've been doing two and a half years. Two and a half or three? After Mount Dora. Mount Dora was the last uh, trip that I did in, in, in 1K or 1080. Are you going to be drive? Are you going to be, to, to be driving to Quartzsite straight through, or will you be stopping in other places? I want to stop in one place in particular, and uh, I, and of course I'm going to try to stop as many places as possible. I, I want to see the Big Bend uh, National Park, you know, by the by the uh, in Texas by the Mexican border. That Big Bend, uh, I want to visit that. Uh, other than that, I don't have anything planned. <coughs> maybe maybe Tucson, which I skipped this past year. Uh, good luck, we used Olympus camera for many years. You know, my first digital camera was an Olympus. Olympus, uh, it was a 1.6 uh, megapixels and it took horrible video. But this was 2001 or so. Mm. I'm sure you do have to let them know some caravan and group camp. Uh, this traveler, I'm looking for a subscription code. What is that? I don't know. I, I don't understand. Uh, driving to the west into the sun is stuck in my head. The, the mouse is wireless. It's, it's the bad. Uh, Robert doesn't have an audible. Check his website. Let me go find. Oh, the, the, you mean the, the podcast? I, I guess I missed a question up there. Uh, Xavier Nas, um, hello Robert, near you in Kendall. Good job, man. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. I was in Kendall yesterday. Uh, Tampa John, hi Jolly and Quartzite. It's completely safe. It's a campground that is in the desert. Great for boondocking right next to a ranger's side. Yeah, Jolly. There are several campsites, camp campgrounds in Quartzite as well, but I prefer the BLM land. You know, it's the thing to do. It's and it's free. Um, 
Joe Croto, say hi to your mom. Yeah, where's my mom? You know, I, I forgot to remind her that we had a chat today. Maybe she's she's uh, not here. Uh, see you next week. Happy travels. Well, see you next week. Tucson is no loss. Um, Tucson, yeah, okay, there you go. Divided opinions. I love that. <laughs> Hello from Chicago, Lalo Arreguin. Mr. Mike, thank you so much for that super chat. Have you been to uh, Juice Paradise in Marathon? No, but I might go tomorrow. Juice Paradise. Sonia Fuentes. Is it, is it worth paying 100,000 uh, trails membership to have only in Florida once a month or a weekend? N not to me. But if, if you're a full-timer and, and, and you do a, a lot of camping, uh, it might be worth it to you. It wasn't worth it to me. So I, I, I canceled. Uh, you know, it came free for one year with, with Minutini and then I, I didn't renew. And besides, I mean, it's cheap. It, it, in the long run, it's, 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 it's a very economic way. And the parks are generally pretty good. It's, they're not like super luxury, but they're good. They have the swimming pool. They have a wreck area. You know, it's, 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 fi it's fine. But to me, it's, it's almost like having a timeshare, you know. Like you, you, you now you have to go to this particular place, and I'd rather have the flexibility to go to go wherever I want, and yeah, pay maybe a little more. Do do get the good Sam membership, good Sam, and um, if if you're gonna get it, get it with my promo code because I get a little bit of a, a cut. It's uh, go to travelingrobert.com slash good Sam. I have it. I had it before. They were an affiliate of mine, and. Um, but it does, you, you get discounts. Some places, they give you like 20, 30% discount. Depends on the campground. And then on Pilot or Flying J gas stations, you get like 10 cents off uh, per gallon. And uh, I think you get, I never go to Camping World, but I think you get also discounts in Camping World. There's a bunch of places where you get uh, uh, discounts. And this traveler is stepping away from desks. Every time I hear Robert, I picture him doing a fancy beer commercial. <laughs> With, with 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 fine Corinthian leather too, huh? Uh, Mary Patton, how does one start a channel? My sister and I plan to hit the road soon, and we we know we are fun to be with. I'm 64, she's 59. We fight like sisters and laugh ourselves all the time. Well, you get a decent camera, or just use your phone to 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 and 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 to. If you can comment here, in theory, you already have a YouTube channel because you have a Google account. You just have to hit that. It's like a camera icon with a, with an X in the middle, uh, and it has uh, several options. You have the option to upload video. Just upload your first video and see what happens, and and tell everybody here in the chat. And I'm, I bet you you'll get at least 10, 20, 50 subscribers, and people will start watching. And then after after you get a number of subscribers and views, you can make money off of it. So BLMs means boondocking. Perhaps organize. They and uh, BYOB and stakes. Yeah, BLM, Bureau of Land Management. Marion Silly, hello to your mom and Eliana. Thank you so much. And uh, they're probably watching, so. Uh, yeah, Lucky Dog Production. I just sent a message to Daytona Brewery to let them know we'll, be, we'll meet there November 13th between 4 and 5. And maybe a little later, too. Uh, you know, you never know. Okay, sounds good. Um, fingers crossed that this time we won't have to change plans. <laughs> so, brother, you would you, can you imagine? Um, what year did you start your YouTube channel? Well, I started back in like well, I, this is my second YouTube channel. I had another YouTube channel. You can still search for it. I haven't uploaded much there lately. It's called Robert Morales. It's for my music. I started that in two thousand and seven, I believe, and then this one I started in twenty eleven to differentiate both uh, channels. Because I was uploading travel videos to that other channel as well. But eventually this became the travel channel. And, I, and then I created two new channels, but they never got much traction. So, But yeah, long story short, uh, this channel, the, the, the successful one, 2011, although I didn't really take it seriously until 2013-ish, where I started like creating custom logos and all that kind of stuff. Um, do you have you ever used Harvest Host? Yes, I did, and don't 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 take my word for it. Uh, I didn't have good luck with Harvest Hosts. 
a lot, a lot of other people swear by it and they and uh, they think it's great um I, I i haven't i didn't have good luck and uh, that's where i'm, where I'm gonna leave it um, did you pay cash for Minitini or making monthly payments? Um, originally, it was monthly payments, but eventually I just took some money out of uh, the retirement plan and paid, paid it off. I thought it was uh, a better idea at the time. I use Good Sam, save on campgrounds and, and rest, gas and restaurants. Yes, good, I, 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 I do like Good Sam for that reason. Do you speak any other languages? If so, can you speak it now, please? Well, I, I speak Spanish. Yo hablo español. That's my first language was uh, Spanish. To be any, a good Sam card gets you five cents off per gallon. It's only five cents. I thought it was ten. Yes, it is five cents. Sorry, I misspoke. Uh, <coughs> no one's business. How he paid for Minitini? Well, that's true, but I don't mind saying. Uh, what? Uh, trying to copy Robert? No way. But trying. Lol. <laughs> you know what? Uh, yeah, Tampa John. We go to Los Algodones outside of Yuma for a dentist every year. A lot cheaper. Yeah, a lot of people do. And, I, and I, I'm thinking of going this year just to see it. I, I'm, I'm going to get my dental work uh, here for now. But um, I want to see how it is, you know, across the border. That, that should be an adventure. Uh, how was your job before you retired? Well, I, I have not retired. Uh, and uh, I just changed uh, jobs. I just changed something that I didn't like all that much and I wasn't all that good at and was really stressing me out for something that I really like and uh, is my calling and it's it's like the the probably the the the, maxim, the the best version of myself if you will hello robert from fort fort worth texas another place that i want to visit at some point and this is back how's the weather well right now it's nice but it's supposed to rain tomorrow 50% Hopefully, the, 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 it'll, it'll be the 50% where I don't need to be outside. Are you a member of KOA and do you like it? I am a member of KOA. I, 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 it's not for the, the, the... It's for the convenience more than anything else. And since I use them a lot, I decided it's, it's not like expensive or anything like that. And then you get the app and the app remembers who you are and remembers the, the link. You know, it's like four clicks to make a reservation. Uh, with KOA and uh, and you get a little bit of discount every time you reserve uh, which is basically the taxes it's like I don't know if it's 10% or something like that where are we staying we had our channel for three years and only have nine subscribers uh, only nine subscribers I'm gonna have to look at your channel and give you some some pointers <laughs> Um, maybe somebody, some some people here will subscribe. I'm from Titusville, Florida. You know, and Titusville, that's where I saw my first and only uh, space shuttle launch. On my, um, ooh, when was that? Uh, 2011. Desiree Lamarche, I'm always singing your song. Thank you. That's I, that's that's uh, great that you're. Um, uh, that my song uh, became so catchy with all you guys. And it's 7.01 uh, p.m. We've been doing this for about an hour. When, when are you going to visit the Kennedy Space Center? I went many, many, many years ago in 1991 or so. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I want to go back. I'm, I'm going to go one of these days. <clears throat> I'm going to wait till they start, you know, sending humans back into space, you know. And not relying on the on the Russians to do it. Uh, go wherever I want to be in my RV. Yay, yes. Juan Catalina, did you have barbecue in Austin, Texas? Any good restaurants? I, I haven't been to Austin, Texas yet. But yeah, I have a couple of places uh, marked in my map where I want to go for barbecue for sure. Uh, we are glad you changed your occupation, Robert. You do a fine job with your channel, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, you're welcome, Juan Catalina. And the KOA in the Smoky Mountains is amazing. White water tubing right on site. Yeah, that's the one that is by Cherokee, right? I, I want to go to that one, but it, it, when I did, when I did, it was a, 
it, when I when I wanted to go, it was fully booked. Hey, random bets RV. Uh, I got I got to hang out with random bits in in Quartzite uh, last year, and I hope to hang out this time again. If if you're gonna be there, I saw that you went to the to the Nomads uh, movie premiere. Uh, are you visiting Connecticut uh, next year? Next year in the fall or late summer, early fall? I don't know. That that's the plan. Uh, Ted Judkins might have missed it, but are you going to do any meetups in Arizona? Definitely nothing super organized yet but when I'm in Quarsite probably somewhere 10th, 12th, 13th, 14th of January somewhere in Quarsite we're gonna do it stay tuned for that um, when will you be going to Michigan hopefully 2019 I wanna I wanna I wanna do the rest of the lower 48 by the end of 2019 so discovery land in Eglin back in the day. Cool. And uh, okay, we got more, more questions. Hi, Robert. I'm a new subscriber. I really enjoy your videos. Keep it up. Thank you so much. And uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. I know we're getting, we've, uh, for the past couple of weeks, the, the channel grew a lot. Uh, for the past couple of days, it's, it's you know, it's done one of these things, you know, like slow down, but I, I'm, I, I'm confident that it will keep, it will keep going up. Knock on wood. Um, and our quirk, quirk, quirk. Um, this may have been asked before, but what do you use for navigation on your travels? Any products you recommend? For what I have, I, I just use Google Maps. But if you have a large uh, rig, Garmin makes a, a great unit. And there's another company that makes an RV. Um, Techno RV sells them, and they're an affiliate of mine as well. So, uh, travelingrubber.com slash techno RV. They sell a really good unit. There's even a unit that has a backup camera built into the screen, which is really good. good. But that's if you have like a big rig, you know, something that you really need to worry about, uh, uh, you know, clearances and, uh, uh, or something really long, you know, about, you know, uh, switchbacks and stuff like that. We, we were talking many things. I can pretty much go almost anywhere that uh, that uh, any truck basically can go. I'm 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 under ten feet high, so um, I use Google Maps. Uh, Joseph uh, Dugan, what advice will you give somebody who wants to go on the road in a camper, trailer, uh, or other vehicles? What are your recommendations? Have you been doing some research for at least? I have been doing some research for at least a year or more. What advice? I mean, you have to be a little more specific uh, than that. Just do it. I mean, that's the the, the main advice. And you know, uh, there are some some safety tips. Just go to livingthervdream.com and 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 it, that site is still maintained by John Huggins, and he used, he's the he's the, the 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 authority in that. If if anything, you you need to know. Uh, he has it there. It's, it's a great all-around website to to learn from, and of course there are some YouTube channels. Uh, you know, it, it depends uh, what aspect you really want. Uh, Carol Tipek idea: BLM Roundup, January 11 to 13. Bring musical instruments, jamming in an RV, make it like wagon train circle with music. Maybe could be a big event. Uh, yeah, definitely. And BLM Roundup that would be in Quarside, right? Uh, Random Bits RVs, we love the New England video. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Random Bits RVs. And um, Daytona Beach, really? Where are we staying? You need to do video. Some of the journey, narrate it, and then show more than one stationary point. Tampa Johns, Lab City is a mess, but Salton Sea, need to see. Yeah, I, I saw the Salton Sea last year, and I might go back uh, this year uh, for sure. <laughs> Would you ever go to a cow factory to see how milk is made? I don't know, maybe. Uh, it's not a priority, but I, I could do it. Rocky Morris, thank you for your videos. Adria Chang, uh, when are you going to do the meetup in, in, meet in Miami? Maybe we can do something when I return from Georgia. 
Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know how many people here in Miami uh, and if you guys can suggest a place. Because I live here, but I don't get out much here, believe it or not. Did you like Boston? I loved Boston. What a great city. And I didn't get to... I just scratched the surface. You know, I want to... I definitely want to go back next year and explore a little more. You know, more of the the non-touristy Boston, if you will. What subscriber count is your goal by the for the end of the year? I don't really have a goal for the end of the year. I know we're going to hit 60 uh, probably in, in, in a couple of weeks. So probably 70 or 70, 70 will be nice. My goal is uh, July uh, 100,000. That's that's the real goal. But I don't I don't have a set goal for let, let me see what Social Blade says. Actually that they're usually pretty accurate. According to Social Blade and they have something called the future projections. Let's find out out of curiosity. We have to what uh, to, we are in November, uh, two months. So in two months they say I'm gonna have sixty-four thousand subs. I think I'm gonna have a little more than that, but let's let's shoot for sixty-five, sixty sixty-four eight seventy-five. If we get to seventy, it would be awesome. But uh, that's not what the predictions say here. It's not a. We'll see. <laughs> Play Hector Lavo or Puente sometimes. I used to sing Yo Soy El Cantante from Hector Lavo. Uh, Joe Croto, how do you fly your drone to take pictures of you on the bridge for your logo? Well, Illy drives and I fly. That, that was how we did it last time. Uh, Greg Chapman, where is morning in Australia? Hello there. Really keen to see the Bahamas. Is that an area on your radar? Um, not really. To, uh, not really. I've been there a couple of times in the past. But um, how long is this chat going to be? I don't know. As long as you guys want. Well, no, I'm, I'm probably another 15, 20 minutes. Uh, the Bahamas, I've been there before. And I, and I went there a couple of years ago. And there's a video here on YouTube. Uh, I went to play at a private party at a private island. And I almost got in trouble for putting that video. I mean... I probably got someone in trouble for putting that video on YouTube, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'll go. I'll go one of these days, but it's not like in the in the near future. It's not like in probably probably after 2020, if if anything. Uh, Rick Fedler, the Colorado package you put together will make your towing comfortable, and you will be able to take the mountains on. Yes, definitely. I, I can't wait to 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 drive it to to the Loveland Pass in Colorado. Uh, normally it's one hour, other times it's gone longer. Yeah, we're already, lately it's been an hour and a half. Uh, definitely Joseph Dugan. Uh, hope to see you in the future as well. Robert, you're an awesome person. God bless you. Thank you so much, Juan Catalina. Uh, Joe Croto. Thumbs up, Mr. Mike. How many states have you been so far? About 25, I think. I, I have to count. I lost count, but uh, it's, it's uh, maybe a little more than half because I, I added a couple of states now in this last uh, trip. Hi, Robert. Have you ever thought about coming to the Outer Banks in North Carolina, the Crystal Coast area? Definitely. And that was part of this trip that got cut short as well. I definitely want to go to the Outer Banks. And see Cape Hatteras and uh, Roanoke Island, is it called? And uh, Sonia Fuentes, hi Robert, can you stay overnight for f free anywhere in the Florida Keys or Key West? Not officially. I hear the, that the, I've, I've, I've seen videos of people staying at the IHOP in Marathon overnight, but uh, I'm pretty sure that. Uh, it, it's it's pretty much banned all over the keys so yeah but a, a, a nomadic fanatic did it when he went there too so I'm sure you, you can find a back street where you can park it if you're stealth you know take 190 from Baton Rouge to Fort Stockton 
miss a lot of big towns, a lot easier drive. I'm gonna check that out. I I, I did I took I10 when I went. Uh, random bits. I just subscribed to your channel. Thanks, uh, Robert, for the suggestion. You're welcome. Uh, DSL uh, smoke. If you have a meetup in Miami, I mean, definitely let's let's do something and uh, uh, we'll go to a brewery to 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 um, to, to uh, what's the name of that brewery in, in uh, by Wynwood in Wynwood. Uh, well, there's Wynwood Brewery and there's the other one, the bigger one. Uh, Concrete. We can go to Concrete or some, something like that, maybe. Uh, Robert, do you still keep your day job? No, I, I quit the day job about a year and a half. Uh, Chris Efting, how's the rock, uh, the truck running? It's running great. It's running great so far. Uh, I've driven a little over 600 miles on it. You should fly up to Boston for the January RV show. No, but January I'm going to be in Quartzsite, Arizona. And uh, and if I go to an RV show in, in January, to be honest, uh, Tampa is 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 probably is the, is the bigger one. Give us a five hour live stream. Uh, maybe <laughs> decision made. We're going to the Traveling Roman Musical Roundup at the BLM. People need time to plan. Let's. Let us know dates soon. It'll be great. Okay, we'll 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 uh, we'll, we'll we'll cook something up uh, for sure. Uh, M uh, Hi Virginia Camper and M Zuro seventy. Buenas noches, Robert. Cuando nos haces un video en español, and um, I'm gonna reply in English, and he's asking when I'm I gonna do a video in Spanish. And I started and another channel. If you go to the, the, the channel, is still out there. It's called uh, Cuentos de Camino. And I started doing the, the videos in Spanish, you know, but it takes a long time. It, 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 especially at the time when I was working, it takes a long time to um, to translate the videos, if you will. It's like doing it, doing it over because you have to translate the, the voiceover and then and then redo it in Spanish. I did, I did like four or five videos in Spanish and then I I gave up on the idea. Desiree, Desiree La March, Robert, have you seen the videos of missing people in national parks phenomena? No, I haven't. I didn't know that was a thing. Lalo Arrigin, hello, uh, hello Robert, we just got back to Chicago from our RV trip around Texas. Corpus, Laredo, San Antonio, then back home. We were singing your song. <laughs> oh, that's, that's cool. Uh, well, I'm oh, this you're out of here. Time to take some knockout meds so I can sleep. Being sick sucks. Well, I hope you feel better, man. And uh, yeah, a lot, lots, lots of lemon, water with lemon. And Hector Moreno, hi Robert, uh, like your style and your videos. Do you have any trips for any trips for November, December? Um, well, uh, November now I'm going to Georgia. And maybe you know northern Georgia. Maybe I'll even in, 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 do a quick incursion into North Carolina or something like that. And uh, and I want to see some of some of Alabama. But uh, December, I'm gonna stay here in Miami. I have uh, I have some some music gigs, some uh, you know that I'm going to do, make some money, uh, some extra money, and then uh, in January we go again. Uh, Hector, I like your style and you. Okay, yeah, I've already said, read that. Johnny C, uh, what I meant was your, what I meant to, was your power cord. Do you unhook it from the car so it doesn't run the battery down on the car when being boondocking? They said it would run it down with everything running. Uh, I do believe that when you take the key off the ignition, the the, the car stops sending power to the RV. So, but. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it, it, I guess it depends how, how it's wired. Uh, but uh, generally, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't uh, unplug it. Uh, Godfather chapters. Hi from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It would be interesting to see you and Nomadic Fanatic meet on the road somewhere. Well, it hasn't happened. That we haven't really bumped into each other. I did reach out to him when he was passing by Miami two or three, three or four years ago. And um, and he never answered, so that's that. Uh, Robert from you know he gets a lot of comments, so he maybe maybe he did never saw mine. 
Uh, Robert from Palm Bay, me and my three-year-old grandson really enjoy your videos. We now He now sings your opening song and actually he's putting your bumper sticker on the screen with you. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. You know, little children seem to seem to like like my my intro a lot for some reason. Sonia Fuentes, thank you for your one kind person. Great videos, you're welcome. In, in the sun by the beach. Hey Robert, watch your other channel, and I was blown away by your amazing voice. Are you going to be performing in Miami in the near future? I wish I could sing like you. I'm not gonna do any like public uh, places. I'm, I'm I'm doing a couple of uh, you know private parties in December and one now in uh, next weekend. And, uh, but no, the thing is when you, when you do like, uh, you know, like a restaurant replace, you know, you have to be there every single weekend and then you cannot travel. You know, it's a, it's kind of, a, uh, I did it. I did it last time I did it was like two years ago. Um, will you ever make it to Washington state? Well, yes. At, at some point uh, in 2019, I, I intend to, to make it to Washington state. Hi, Robert from Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, Alaska 2020. <clears throat> Thanks for the great videos you're sharing. You're very welcome, uh, Jan Bruza. And Carol Hein Hansen, I see you have a different vehicle. Did you do a video on that? Not yet. I'm, 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 going, I'm going to shoot it this weekend and film it this weekend. And, uh, and uh, it'll be soon here on the channel. Robert, are you sponsored by any RV manufacturer? Nope. If, if not, you should be. Uh, YouTubers that do all this traveling have really boosted the sales of the RVs. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks to you, their business is thriving. And I'm, I'm sure I've sold at least 10 or 20 uh, micro minis. Uh, but uh, I, I could never ma make a deal with Winnebago. So I like your Chevrolet shirt. Has anyone given Robert a thumbs up? Thank you so much. And uh, this shirt it was courtesy of uh, of my friend CLT Culture Lifestyle Travel here on the on the chat. And I'm losing my voice, so I'm gonna have to uh, maybe I'm, I'm, it's lack of beer in my in my system. Uh, are you going to do any more songs from Andrew and Jackie? Well, I did three three not songs but like tunes instrumentals for this last uh, was it three or four for the last this last uh, trip uh, to the northeast i did uh, the disco ish song for for philadelphia i did the the sopranos ish song for new york and i did the cheers ish uh, song for for boston but yeah i'm, I'm gonna keep doing music uh, for sure I get it to get me a portable keyboard that I can take on the on the on the RV. Two hundred and sixty-nine viewers. That's awesome. That's had a, that's gotta be almost a record, I think. Uh, did you know your Georgia visit dates in November yet? Uh, well, yes, I'm leaving uh, next uh, Monday. Not this coming Monday. The next one after that. So. Um, it's going to be family time, like uh, in, mid in the middle of the month, but after the 18th, I'm going to linger probably for another week in, 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 in Georgia, you know, driving around, and then the following week, I'll probably start heading back south, probably a little further west through Alabama, and I'm probably going to hit the, the Florida panhandle. See, some, you know, check out the hurricane damage a little bit, as as long as you know it. it I, I don't uh, interfere with anything down there, and uh, and then back to Florida. You know, I've always wanted to see Cedar Key, so I might uh, stop at Cedar Key as well. That's the plan. Uh, can you recommend a good place to buy an RV? Um, not really. Uh, are you happy with the new vehicle? Yes, for the most part I am. You know, buying an RV is it's almost as painful an experience as buying a car. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know any... I mean, La Mesa, they were very nice to sell me the RV, but then it kind of fell apart when it came to service. So, I don't know. And that's the only place that I really dealt with. Uh, all old kids are like your song too. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. 
Where are we staying? Thanks for your help. Have a great weekend. You too. Dave Muller, do you run the refrigerator while you're driving on propane? Yes, I do. Some people advise against it. And if I go, um, so, and some place, like if you, if you take a ferry or go into a tunnel, sometimes you have to turn it off. But, um, but yeah, I do. And it's a tiny little flame like this, you know. Uh, Juan Catalina, how do you drive and film the intro on the bridge with the drone at the same time? Well, that's, uh, I, I answered that earlier. Ili was driving the, the car and I was flying the drone. Uh, will you be taking the truck and minute into Alaska? Yeah, Alaska 2020. That's the idea. You need to do a song in Spanish, then at the same time, do the same words in English so we can understand the words. Yeah, that would be cool. Or maybe I'll do the driving in my RV song in Spanish. I've already, I'm, I'm thinking of um, that too. Uh, Carlo Tupac hyped. Great road trip from California. Let's make this happen. Traveling in my RV, going to the BLM for all to see. <laughs> sure, definitely. Paulo Campos, hi Robert. So those videos may ajudar a muito organizar minha viagem de Orlando a Key West. Pasando por Tampa. And anybody would think that I speak Portuguese. But the thing is, Portuguese is so similar to Spanish that I can understand it. I, and I speak it. I, I, you know, I used to work at a, uh, at a store at the Port of Miami way, way back when. And we, we had a lot of uh, Brazilian tourists. And, um, and I, did, um, I did learn a, a little bit just b b b by having to sell them perfume and stuff. Uh, we used to work at the Duty Free. They don't have the duty free anymore. Uh, where do you go for spring break? Not really do anything particular for spring break. Do you sleep one of your own songs in your gigs? Not really. It's people usually want to hear like uh, you know standards. I've done it once or twice. What kind of vehicle did you get to replace the old Kia? It's a Chevy Colorado, the one that you saw on the. On the thumbnail for this video. Carla, UPS chick, you just got on. Hello, Pelican Heads. Hello, Carla, you're late. I'm about to sign off here. <laughs> Tampa John, not going to California this year, but bombing around Florida. Look out, Disney. Here we come. September, spent nine weeks last year. Yeah, I still have to get me a, a site at Fort, uh, Fort Wilderness one of these days. I hear that it went up, it went back up in price. You seem to be to like Georgia a lot. I'm in Atlanta. I like Georgia. And the thing is, to get out of Florida, most of the time you have to go through Georgia anyway. And I, and, and I have family in Atlanta on my wife's side. So we go there quite often. I really like North Georgia a lot. Um, DSL Smoke, uh, I saw your interview on the Wanabago. Talking about Minitini, yes. And that was a, a, they didn't put much of the interview, but yeah, they did interview me. And uh, that was the last time I really spoke to them. And I said, yes, we're going to do something with you. We're going to do a promotion. And um, I haven't really pursued it either because, uh, I don't know, I, 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 I do feel kind of uncomfortable being, a, being sponsored by a company like when a big one. Then if something goes wrong, I, I cannot. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to be... A, let's say, transparent and honest when the, the company is paying you to talk well about them in a, in a way. You, you, know, you, you know what I mean? So in a, in a sense, um, I think it's better this way. Uh, hey, Robert, a Christmas special from Florida would be cool. Yes, we're going to do a Christmas special from Florida since I'm going to spend Christmas here. So maybe we'll go to Santa's Enchanted Forest. <laughs> which is a fair that we have here. It's, 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 it's a thing. <laughs> they have fake snow and everything. It's incredible. Hey, Robert, Chris, uh, yeah, uh, check out the, uh, the website RV Trader if you're looking for an RV. Yeah, RV Trader is a good one too. Uh, in Sunny by the Beach, maybe you can post some of your singing from your private engagements on your other channel. You can record your singing uh, away from the event if you're not allowed to film. Uh, well, I, I, the, um, I've done it in my other channel. I just haven't really... I, I, might, I might take the, the, the camera this coming weekend, although we haven't really played together in a long time. So it might suck. So I don't know. <laughs> Who?
Who was the person with only nine subscribers? Oh, I I um I forgot the name. I love your shows. Uh, ever coming to Albuquerque again? Definitely. And uh, Andrew and Jackie, hola Robert, hola again, hola again. Um, raising your pets naturally, heading to Roswell, Georgia with a pooch next year. Have you visited? No, no, no Roswell, Georgia yet. Can you recommend any good campgrounds in Louisiana? I have never camped in Louisiana, so I've, I have, but maybe someone here in the chat room uh, can recommend something. And uh, good evening, Pasum, Fasum, Bakam, and Bill Biles from St. Pitt. Going through your neck of the woods in April, heading to Key Largo and being Pinky Fishing Lodge. Well, enjoy the Florida Keys, man. And April should be a good time because the snowbirds are gone, but the Miami people haven't gone down yet all that much. It's, it's like the off season, like the shoulder season, if you will. Um, <clears throat> hello, Sir Robert from Cat Balugan City, Philippines. Oh, the Philippines. So one of these days I, I, I'm going to go to the Philippines. And uh, thank you. And more power to your upcoming trips. Thank you. Ooh. Salvatore Vinciguerra. How many times have you had your bearings lubricated? Only once. And thanks to my, my friend Alex, uh, CLT here in the chat room. Uh, you're a good guy go with your feeling thank you and LJ Georgia great place just south of Blue Ridge yeah, I've been to LJ I stayed at uh, oh, what was the name of that campground very nice uh, campground and uh, I cannot remember it's just south of LJ what's favorite Asian food you like besides Chinese food well I like Thai food <coughs> Does your wife ever sing with you? No, nope, not even in the shower. Uh, Santa's Enchanted Forest is so much fun. I haven't been there in a while. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll go this year. Tampa John, good night, old friend. Good night, Tampa John. How many people we have now in the chat room? Let's just do a quick count before I go. And uh, yeah, this mouse is... Okay, we're down to 250. That's it. But we, we had what, 280 seven at one point that was like the peak no 200 and uh, yeah 287 was the peak anyways i'm gonna start wrapping this up guys thank you so much for being here for for coming back every every uh, friday here as we celebrate um, the beginning of the weekend and we celebrate you know being here being RVing, you know uh, it's 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 good That's it. Beer is gone. And my voice is back. Uh, what happened to the old car? Uh, well, I'll make, I'll make the story short, Mr. 310. The, the, the new engine, new-ish engine that they put on apparently wasn't compatible with the car. So it never ran well. It was misfiring a lot. They replaced a bunch of stuff. Eventually, they gave up. They just uh, gave me... a a little bit of you know like a settlement for my troubles and uh, and they don't, that's, they, there's nothing we can do so i went i went and and, and gave the down payment for for a new truck uh what did the ipa tonight uh harry west thank you so much for that uh, super chat the ipa was terrapin high five ipa from uh, athens georgia Uh, I know you probably answered this, but ¿Dónde puedo encontrar tu música para comprar? En cualquier lugar, eh, busca Robert Morales eh, y en Spotify, uh, Apple Music, eh, en toda, en everywhere. And, uh, and also, freeinmyrv.com eh, si quieres comprar el CD físico. Eh, y gracias. Eh, thank you. Uh, Emma Stokes, hello Robert, Houston, Texas here, late getting on. Thank you so much for that super chat, Emma. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just here kind of wrapping this up. But uh, if you guys want to keep on going, we can do we can do a couple more minutes. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, the days make a musical potluck. Thank you, have a great weekend. Good night, uh, Wayne Gruen. Good night, Robert and fellow Pelican Heads. Yeah, everybody. And uh, have a great weekend and hope you get... The new logo down, you know, little by little, 
I don't know. How, how do you like the, the the logo for now being just that picture of the of the truck and mini tini that that I that I that I, I pretty much put it everywhere. And uh, unless I get a fantastic shot tomorrow of of the mini tini crossing the bridge, which is not gonna be as as high resolution because what I do I take a 4K frame of video, which is never the same as a, as an actual picture. Um. Friday ritual to tune into your channel. Love your videos. Thank you so much, uh, Charlie. Can you close with Guantanamera? Of course. And uh, great watching you, Robert. Ahora a comprar. Thank you so much, Dave and Millard. I like it. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep that logo for now. For now, the the this one. Let me show you. And I and I pretty much put put it everywhere. Uh, for example. Let's see if this works. This might not work. But if it works, of course it didn't work. It went a blank screen. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. It's coming soon. And here we are. You know, basically that picture of, of uh, the truck and the mini tini. I might erase the boat uh, in between uh, Kia, the Kia, between the Colorado and, uh, and mini tini. But for now, that's going to be the logo, and that's there. If you go to my Facebook, dot com slash traveling Robert, one of these days, the internet will. That's also uh, the logo there. So um, that's basically uh, what, what I'm what I'm going to have as as the branding for now, uh, pretty much everywhere. Unless I come up with a much better picture, and and that same picture is, I'm, I'm, I did cut it out in Photoshop, and that's what I'm gonna put on the T-shirts, and uh, on the stickers, and everywhere else. And um, anyways, I'm gonna sing the Guantanamera uh, to you guys, and uh, keep the vote, the vote. Okay, I'll keep the vote. <laughs> And I still, I, I have that that uh, twelve string guitar back there, but I haven't learned how to play it yet. I mean, this guitar is always uh, in tune. It's really great. Oh, by the way, um, if you wanna, if you guys, where is it? Where did I put it? You see this? That's my my PO box. If you guys uh, want to send me stuff. Uh, so here we are. I'm gonna sing the Guantanamera to you guys. Although. I'm not going to be in Miami for, for a couple of weeks, so... Do you like salsa, Tito Puente, Hector Lavoe? Yes, I do, of course. And I haven't met Bob Wells yet, but I, I, I do want to... I, I do intend to meet him at the RTR coming up in January. Most enjoyable watching your chats, a Saturday morning ritual down under. Thank you, John Hancock. And one of these days... One of these days, where are you in, in, in Australia? One of these days, I'm going to I'm going to make a road trip down under, might, but uh, I might need uh, like two or three months to do the the, the whole. Um... Carla, UPS chick. Yeah, I think the boat is kind of distracting. Uh, distracted. I'm gonna see if I can erase it. Uh, but um, you know, I wanna I wanna begin. Uh, the thing is, Australia is so big. I wanna. I want to begin at Sydney, of course, and maybe go up, up north, up, up the east coast, you know, see the, the Great Barrier Reef, and then go down into Canberra, Melbourne, and maybe go all the way uh, out west. What, what is it? Perth? But I also want to go into the, into the middle of the country, uh, Alice Springs and Uluru, and then north to Darwin. How long would that take? Two or three months? From Puerto Rico, Elisoto. Somebody wanted me to sing the Guantanamera. No, that's, that's too high a key. That's too in C. Sincero, ¿de dónde crees? 
parece la palma Yo soy un hombre sincero ¿De dónde crece la palma? Y antes de morir me quiero Echar mi verso del alma Guantanamera Guajera Guantanamera Guantanamera Guajera Guantanamera Oh, in December I wanna sing you this one that goes Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero Año y Felicidad Well that's gonna be in December everybody have a great Friday have a great weekend and uh, and I'll see you hopefully next week internet permitting Oh, of course, I'm going to be here in Miami still. So see you next week.